So now we're going to start editing this and making it our own. <coughs> we're going to concentrate first on the header, which is a bit here, and the footer, which is a bit here. We're going to change all this information in the header and footer. So hover over project one, click on dashboard. Once you're in there, hover over appearance. This is where you change all the appearance and the looks of your website. So click on customize. Once you've done that, click on header builder. We're going to start with the header. This is your header. These are all the elements that are inside your header here. This is your header builder where you can add things and take things away. Uh, your site title there is there and your logo, which is there. Your uh, take action button is there, which you can see. And your menu is there, which is primary menu. So that's, a ha that's how you would add stuff and take stuff away. So what we're going to do is we are now going to change the site title and logo. Scroll down here and we give it a name. So there's a project one that comes up. We're going to now give the website our, a, a name. So I might want to uh, make it back dog. So I'm going to type in um, doggy day carer. Because I want to be there. I want, this is what, what I want my, my website to be about. You could be here, whatever yours is about, cakes, cars, whatever website you're building. So that's how you would do that. Next, I want to change the logo. So I'm going to click on remove these here. And then I want to select my own. So select logo. And I would need to install mine. Now, because we're, do, we, we're using a starter template, these are all the pictures that was inserted when we installed the template. We're going to get rid of all of them and put our own pictures in. So for now, I'm going to click on upload files. Click on select, find the uh, logo that you want, if you've already created one. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. Use that one. Okay, so whenever you put a picture on your website, this is very important to remember. You need to do the SEO, which is search engine optimization. Uh, this will uh, maximize your chances of being found on Google. There's two parts of, of, of the picture SEO. One is um, a description and title, and the other one is sizing the picture correctly, which we'll come to at a later date. For now, we're going to do the first part, which is giving it a, a description. So I'm just going to type in the logo in the alt text, and in the description, I'm going to type in, this is my website logo. Once you've done that, Click select, click on skip cropping, and there it is. And we're going to put it in here as well. Click on that, there, everything's already in there. Click on a select image, and that's put that in there. It's not very really good for some reason. Don't know why it's done that. Uh, let's move down. Don't know why it's done that. That's strange. But anyway, uh, won't worry about that. So the next thing is, is your menu here if you're happy with that the way it is just leave that over where it is and that's your take action button that's when you click on it that will take you to wherever it is that you want to go so for example if you wanted to go into the uh, let's bring that page up um let's go into um let's go into bring that up so if you want to go into the contact page all you need to do is highlight that quick copy it, then you can close that because you don't need it anymore Go back into here and if you click on the button down here so you click on the pen that edits the button there and that's your link there so if you pasted that into there and then click submit that one, once somebody clicks on that button it will take them to the <coughs> contact page okay you can design the button as well if you wanted to that's all your different designs your text color so you could change the color inside the um, button and the um, background and, and the border colour and everything else. That's how you change all that. The spacing, the sizes of the button are all down here, the margins and everything else. Once you've done all that, click back. That's all that. That's the header sorted out. We, now we want to create <coughs> some text underneath here. So I'm going to click on this, this one at the bottom here, just in the builder, and I'm going to click on HTML1. Okay. 
and once we've done that HTML one, click on it and it will bring up the editor. It says uh, insert your HTML text there, which is basically just text. And I'm going to call it, I'm going to put in the doggy daycare. That's that done. Now, if you hover up, highlight the text, hover over the text color here, you can change the color of the text, which will change it to white. So there you go, there it is. And oh, lots of other things in there, links. You can add a link to it if you wanted to, uh, which would be if you wanted to put it in a link in there, you could do. Uh, go into the design, uh, you can change the font size uh, like that. You could also move it if you wanted to onto anywhere you want in the header like that. Um, and you could also insert another HTML, which would be uh, HTML2. And then again, um, click on HTML2. And if you wanted that to be a phone number, you could go like that. And again, change the color to white. And like that. So there's your telephone number. And again, go into the style and click on that. Drag that to whatever size you wanted it at. And that's basically that. And that's all that done. So you can click on publish. And now if we go down to the footer, okay, we want to change all that. All right, so we click back and back again, and we click on Footer Builder, okay? So here we've got the copyright. As you can see, it says copyright doggy daycare, which I've done previously, which I shouldn't have done because I should show you how to do that, really. <coughs> what it's done, it's all automatically put, because we've changed the uh, website title, it's put it in there for us, which is copyright uh, uh, doggy daycare. Uh, you can change your um, address here. So you just click on the pen there, and that's also widget one so if you click on that okay there's all your text so you can change your address if you wanted to i'll keep that i'll keep that as it is for now just temporarily but if you, you just highlight it well i'll just go over it actually and you could just put everything whatever you wanted in there for your address same with your phone number and your email address um Put your email address in there, and once that's all done, again click on publish. So that's your header and footer done. So the next thing we need to do is to start. Um, actually, what I want to do here, I want to put a line underneath here. So let's go back to the header builder like that and click on this bit here. Okay, and then we click on design, and there's a bottom. You can, you can see there's a bottom border there. I want to change, make that to about two pixels. Okay, and then bottom border color I want to do in white. Okay, and we might need to do that in the transparent header as well. So we'll click on transparent header and click on design. Bottom border to let's change that to white. There you go. So that's done that. If you want to get rid of that top one there, just click on that. Uh, design uh, bottom border, take that away and hover over that and change the opacity down. Why is it not doing it? There you go, it's gone now. So drag tra back to zero. So that's your header done and your footer done. Just click on publish. And that's the header and footer done. You can design it how you want. Um, you know, there's, there's your build. You can add, add things if you wanted to add things in there. You, for example, if you wanted to put your Facebook and socials in there, you click on that and you click on your socials. Put that in there. There they are. So if again, if you click on the pen, you can actually just click on there and that will bring up the editor. Or you can click on the pen above whatever it is that you want to edit and that will bring up the editor. So here's your Facebook, your Twitter and your Instagram and everything else. Uh, if you click on design, you can change the colours and have it as the official colours. And you'll have to change it to the official colours. Uh, you can change the icon sizes by dragging it. And you go back into general, you click on Facebook, you type your Facebook link address in there. That will put them in it. All, all your and your Twitter address will go in there, and your Instagram address will go in there. 
If you any other uh, socials you wanted to add, you can just click on add, and um, you could put whatever you wanted in there really. Um, but I'm just going to delete that because I have one of them. So that's all the socials done. That's your header done, and your footer done. So we click on publish. And what we'll do now, we'll go to the live site, so I'll click on there. And that's our live site at the moment. That's the header done. And the footer done. Okay, so the next stage is to start working with the pages, which we'll do next.